Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. So we have had some changes between the previous episode and this one. I'm going to show you both of them straight away because it's all very exciting. Oh wow, look at that. I've just realised that's a Stancio Lepacho. Sosnovka. Uh, that's Goldcrest Valley. No idea and no idea. Family photos, I assume. First of all, we have a new addition. We have the John Deere Gator. Now this is part of the collector's edition for PC, certainly in the UK, I think it is for Europe as well, but don't hold me to it. I'm not too sure about other countries, but yeah, you just have to check um, on your local gaming websites, Amazon, that sort of stuff, and just see exactly what's included in the version you can buy. But yeah, this is the Gator. It is going to be a nice addition to the farm, and yes, not only does it provide transportation, but we can use this to carry around a material. You can actually put a material in the back of here, I think it's only about 450 litres, but yeah, you might think, how do you get it out? Well, we can just very simply tip it, like this, so it's just a very handy get around vehicle. There we go. And of course, yeah, we could put a pallet of seed in there, which we might have to do today. Since we are going to be heading up to our field, which was canola, and is now weeds. Yes, we have plenty of weeds growing in there since it's been... Uh, actually, it's actually been every day, because the previous day was absolutely soaking. Loads of rain, and yeah, just unpleasant, really. So, you'll see that we've just got a little friend sitting in front of us here. The issue is, I don't know its name. So... What should we call it? What should our dog be called? Let me know. But we have a ball, a bowl, and a house. And our dog. Hello. Hello, dog. Hello. There it is. Seems happy enough. Right, let's go. Let's go up to the field. I've got to go and take over the seed drill, because it is busy working over there. The cultivator shouldn't be too far finishing. I did say I didn't want to do any worker work, um, but the issue is I have got to the stage where our machinery is so small it would take absolutely forever to do all the work ourselves. So yes, I've, I've had to employ some people, it shouldn't cost us too much as the field isn't even that big, um, but yeah, it's just one of those things, we have to from time to time. Hopefully when the farm grows we'll be able to do all the work ourselves uh, because the machinery will be much larger and we'll be able to uh, spare the time, because it won't take us long. This is a neighbouring field, I don't know what they're growing. Oil seed radish, maybe canola, not too sure. But yes, we're growing, well, just, yeah, an infestation of weeds. It's not looking quite so bad now, because it's actually being drilled. Uh, and the drill does cover over the weeds, it breaks them up, but they do regrow. That's the disadvantage of that. We have to either use a weeder or spray them off. You can see before the cultivator gets to it, it's it's really bad. Although quite pretty in a way. All the flowers. Look at that. So yeah, it's, uh, well, it's uh, <laughs> a bit of a job, I've got to say. A bit of a job doing this, um, since it was neglected. It was just so wet yesterday, so we couldn't get into the field. It was just an absolute washout. I'll leave this here, hopefully it's not in the way. And we'll run over to our new Holland tractor. You might be wondering what we're planting. Well, oh, it does say. Yes, we're planting oats. This setup doesn't put the fertilizer in the ground. So we're going to have to do that. We are going to have to invest in a spreader. I'd have thought, well, I suppose we might get a sprayer, actually. Because if the weeds do get a bit overpowering, we're going to have to spray them off. We can't use a spreader to get rid of them. Did that turn off the drill? Yeah. So, yeah, we're not too far off completion here. I'll do as much as I can do to reduce the amount of money it's going to cost to do this. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing the oats. As for the other jobs we need to do today, I haven't actually decided yet. I, I want to do some more contracting. It's a good opportunity to use the different brands and bigger machinery. But also... I would also like to expand our farm. We do still have the issue of field 20. It is sugar beet, it's it's gonna wither, because I haven't done anything with it. We can't do, it would cost us 30,000 pounds to lease a machine 
so it would be more cost effective just to plough that back in as green manure and drill it again with a different crop, probably wheat or barley uh, or canola or oats, whatever. Anything which can be harvested with a combine, a combinable crop. So yep, I'm going to continue, we'll get it done and like I say, hopefully it doesn't take us too long. And we're done, kind of, we've almost finished. I'm just gonna move out of the way with the cultivator and then we can finish off that tiny patch which has been missed. It's looking much more presentable, that field, but I know that the uh, the roots of the weeds are still under there, so it's going to regrow probably really quickly. Uh, so we'll just keep checking up on it, making sure the weeds aren't there. If they do grow, we'll get the weed out and we'll get rid of them. If you get them at an early stage, it can be better, I think, uh, since we don't have to then pay for herbicide, which can be very expensive. In fact, I think it's, it's thousands of pounds for a, a tank of herbicide. If we'd gone to this one. £2,400. So yeah, we really want to avoid using that. Otherwise, we're going to be losing quite a bit of money. Okay, so I'm going to take this back over to the yard. The good thing is we didn't use much seed. And we now have a lovely field of oats. As for the other field... It's going to need some work. Ah. That's where that got to. I thought I'd been missing my front weight. Well, we'd better get that picked up. There we go. And we'll put this back into the shed. The trailer's got the cover on it, so that can stay outside. I think we do need some more shed space, but we can't really afford to be buying that at the moment since we only just don't have enough space and it's only the trailer which doesn't fit. So it's not really worth justifying the £10,000. Right, oh, wrong one. There we go. Turn the beacons off and the engine. Now over to the Massey Ferguson. Take this machine back over there as well. And I think it would be wise to check up on the field which we are... Still debating what to do with it. I, I, I really don't know. I think, yeah, we'll just cultivate it. There we go. I've made up my mind. We'll, we'll cultivate it. We were given the sugar beet in the first place. It's just going to have to be cultivated in, and it, it can turn into manure. Whoa, someone's been neglecting their crops. That's what our field looked like before. Oh. Yeah. You do have to keep on top of these weeds. In fact, as we are going to be cultivating it, I'll get the worker going over here. If I can help not using two workers together, that would be uh, that would be really good, because I really don't want to be spending money on two of them, since we need to use our money for expanding the farm. There we go. Right, that can continue. Uh, the communal tyres seem to be doing a pretty good job in the field, even though the traction isn't quite as good, I don't think, as uh, a standard agricultural tyre. But yeah, it's, it's not slipping. So we'll leave it to it. What's this then? Sugar beets? No, soybeans. Soybean crop. That's a neighbour. Uh, okay, so contracting. I was going to do a bit of contracting. It depends what we've got. This one here. Uh, oh look, there's that the one to the Castle Hotel again. But it is, it's a different one. It's from the Castle Hotel to the Guest House. No idea what they're transporting. Um, but we'll try and do something else, I think. Only £257 for this one here. Wow, that one there is 9000 That could be interesting. Um, although it's... Oh, it's a big job. It's quite a big job. So I'll flick through these and I'll try and decide which one we should do. 
Intriguing how that one can only be £257. It must be the world's easiest job. Except we don't actually have a front loader, so that could be tough. I'd love to buy this, but... Oh no, actually we can afford it quite easily. That's going to be quite handy. We'll buy it. There we go. Yeah, so that should be over here. It's not very expensive. We do need a forklift for various different jobs. Unfortunately, we can't really use it for bales, I don't think. It'll probably work, but it's just not going to be the easiest machine for loading a trailer. But we don't need to worry about that at the moment anyway, since we don't have a baler. So, <laughs> there's not going to be many bales. I think we can tilt it back too. Yeah, we can. So after spending our £37,000, was it? I think it was. Uh, hopefully we can now make our 200. <laughs> we can try and make our 257. I don't even know what the job is, but we'll have a look. And the gator could be very useful for this, depending on what it is. If it's multiple items, it could be. Um, yeah. So it was Railroad Silo West to Ranch. Um, so we'll just take a look at that first of all, see exactly where it's going to be. Railroad is likely going to be... <laughs> um, there we go. There. The yellow dot just there to here. Oh, that's easy. It's just a case of getting there. So if I put a, a marker on this place, if I just tag that place first. There we go. You see the beacon of light. We can now go and make an easy... £257 profit. You never know, they might pay us some more as well. Fuel expenses? Who knows? We'll just give it a go. It gives us time to uh, allow the tractor to cultivate that before we go into the field with the drill. As soon as a, a combining job comes up with the John Deere's, I would take that because I want to use the John Deere combine harvesters. Um, I don't know if there's, I don't think there was one there just then, but yeah. If there was, I can still go back to it now, after we've done this. Now I'm looking to do some forestry very soon as well. Um, we do have to own the land where the trees are. Luckily, we do actually own some trees. So if we cut some of those trees down, put them in the gator, take them over to the lumber yard, I think it would be on here. Must be. Um, yeah, sawmill. Sawmill. Uh, then we can get some money, hopefully, for the timber. And, yeah, it's just an easy bit of income. We have to buy the chainsaw, but then, yeah, we can keep that for the future. Whoa, another farmer who hasn't been looking after their fields. So, it's just down here. I think we actually take the left turn, is it? Turn left. Yes, we do. So it's just, well, there's the beacon of light. How did I miss it? Certainly not the fastest machine to be getting about on, but I am actually surprised that we can go down a road with a uh, forklift. At this stage in the Let's Play, it does seem to be the obvious choice, because we can get here in only a minute or two, and we can get the job done. Ideally, we should have a, a flatbed trailer and put it on uh, maybe the back of the gator. It might be a bit heavy. A pickup truck. Right, so this might be the this the starting destination or the finishing destination. It is the starting point. Here they are, and it's only one. That's good. That explains the price. Is it milk? Right, there we go. Just about. <laughs> you know some like with stacking uh, and picking pallets up in general. Some kind of bottled substance. I don't know. Could be on a bit better that. I'll just go a little bit further in. There we go. Right. We have the pallet. Traverse. And we'll head down the road a bit like this. It should be alright. I can't see why it would fly off. Would be a nasty mess if it does, though. Oh, they're actually strapped on. They'll be fine. 
once we've delivered this, I'm going to take a look at the bailers in the store. Just ready to see the price of them. Because we do need to get one at some point, and we need to obviously reserve the money for it. There we go. Transport finished. Should be on this page just here. There we go, £257 in the bank account. So here we are in the store, over to the bailing technology section, which is just here. And yeah, £49,000 for that one, 105 So quite expensive it's going to be when we do come to buy one of these. Um, yes, so that's going to be something we need to take into account in the future. We'll definitely be able to afford one, but yeah, it's another expense and we need to make sure we have enough money reserved for other important things too. When I say important things, I mean seed, fertiliser, uh, obviously really necessary tools. I think we do have most of the vital tools, so that's not a major concern. Anyway, we'll head back to the yard and we'll get field 20 dealt with. Field 25 is okay for the time being, but we do need to spread some fertiliser. Yes, that is the vital tool either a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader. Uh, that's definitely required, so I need to make sure I have money set aside for that. Field 20 can just be wheat or barley. Yeah, we'll put some wheat in. And go from there, really. We're starting to get to the stage where we need to be very careful about what we do to the fields. We need to make sure everything is productive as it can be. Now, we are going to start doing some animal work as well when the money allows obviously at the moment we don't have a great deal and I think just to buy the cows enclosure it's I thought it was close to a hundred thousand pounds I'm not too sure now um, there's only one way to find out if we take a look here cow pasture a hundred thousand large cow pasture three hundred thousand so we do need to be quite careful I'm uh, being tailgated oh. nothing angers the Dagoin more than a tailgater <laughs> oh, I'm drifting. No! I can see my Massey Ferguson tractor from here. Straight ahead. It's working over there. Look, I can see the tailgater in the mirror as well. Hmm. <laughs> Some drivers. There you go. Oh, now he's turned off. <laughs> can you believe it? Yay! It's our dog. Happy to see us. Now where can I put this? Uh, I need to get the drill going again. Oh look, the weeds have regrown. There isn't much point as far as I can see taking the weeds out when you're about to drill because it seems to do the job for you. Right, there we go. Now for this tractor. Got plenty of seed, however it's still set to oats, so we'll put this to wheat. There we go. We are ready to drill the field. Not too sure if the cultivator is finished. It must be very close. Let's get that going. And we'll see what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's only got a very small section left to do. Yep, here it is. Uh, and that's the last of the beat. We didn't really see much of it, but yeah, there it goes. It was just the wrong crop, which is unfortunate because it could have been good. Foliage bending. You can tread on the weeds. It's all bending away from us. Uh, so yeah, so those are the, uh, the trees just over there. We can cut those down if we want to. We can load them into the gator and just get whatever they're worth for it. It, it shouldn't be... A massive amount of money but actually I have noticed we've got some odd branches just lying around so we might be able to cut them up yeah look does that move I have picked up some dead branches before there's definitely a few dead branches about some previously cut down trees uh, I think they're a bit too heavy but yeah here we go this is it so you can probably sell that it, it's just cheap firewood, really, but, um, well, actually, 
It's cheap. I don't know what expensive firewood looks like. It is just cheap timber, I should say. There we go. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll transfer the uh, the driver. <laughs> we'll we'll take over this, and we'll get it packed up. Should be able to see the foliage bending here too. Yeah, I'll stop the driver. We need to go back down here again. There is a very small section. just a waste of money if we have a worker doing something when we're stood there. But this should be the turning point for the farm. We've built the farmhouse and the shed, we've bought two fields and we now have our first two crops going in. The canola from the other field was a bonus really, since we didn't have to pay for it to be seeded and, well, actually the previous owner didn't even fertilise it, but yes, had it been we would have got that free as well. This should be a much, much better crop. It's going to be cared for. And most importantly, we have the machine to harvest it with. There we go. So I did have a few people actually saying, why did you buy the cheaper combine over the more expensive one? And my simple answer is, it was bigger. It was a bigger working width. And because we've spent less now, it means that when we come to sell it, and... Um, buy a new one, because we didn't spend more in the first place on the first combine, we should technically have more in the bank account for a bigger and better one. Or a bigger and newer one, because actually this one's really good. It does seem to be, well, a working combine. It's done the job fine. So there we go. We can go there. And that is, yeah, that's the last time I'm going to be using that cultivator for a while. Unless we buy some more fields, but that's unlikely. So yes, the next thing to look at in the store, we've always got something to look at, is the fertiliser. So we've got, let's just see here, crop protection. Oh, it's surprisingly cheap. I thought that was much more expensive. That could be something good for us. Um, failing that, if we can... If we can carry these, because they're quite heavy, I'd have thought. We should be alright on the new Holland tractor. Those two? Yeah, otherwise it's going to be this one here. I wouldn't go for either of these at the moment, because we don't really have the horsepower required. I can imagine they are very heavy when they're full. Actually, I take that back. I think they might be capable of uh, towing those sprays, but yes, they are more expensive. So it might be better to go for the uh, three-point linkage ones. Hello. Oh, bye. <laughs> um, I have that effect on animals. <laughs> Not really. That's a joke. It was a very bad joke. Just like my air conditioning joke from yesterday. I said, oh, we'll turn the air conditioning on in the combine. I don't think many people got it. It's cabless. So we're going to leave this tractor to it, it's actually not that far of completion anyway. It says fertilised 100%, so I don't know if it took into account as ploughing the, uh, or cultivating the sugar beet back in as fertiliser, that's interesting. I'll take a look into it, uh, unless it was just fertilised in the first place, it could have been. Um, yeah, it's... It's fertilised, so it, it probably was to begin with. Although I can't say for that one. I don't know. I don't know if ploughing the crop in helped or not. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, 
See you again very soon. Bye for now.